What's up everybody? Jimmy from the Game Grader again. Got another cool thing for you. This is the Marware Game Grip. Probably seen this before. This is the Game Grip. This is meant for your iPod Touch or iPhone 3GS and of course obviously it is a game controller for gaming on your iPod. So let's take a look at it. Well first of all obviously it goes in there but not before you put on it comes with a bonus silicone sleeve. These are nice sleeves, just on their own. These are very, very nice. Uh, this is for the iPhone, obviously. Camera port. Don't need that one. I don't have an iPhone, unfortunately. I do have an iPod Touch, so this is the one that comes with it. So we will use our hands, and we will take out the, uh, the grip. I also need to take my iPod out of the Marware case that I've been wearing, the micro shell. So I'll get it out of that. A little shameless plug there. So there's that. Now we'll slide this in. Of course, this is your traditional silicone case. I like this one though because it's weighted. It's not some flimsy silicone case. Of course, you got to put it on the four corners. Should have probably done this before I started. But a uh, nice, easy access to all your ports. Of course, your headphone, your charging, and the buttons are on the skin itself. So you can push these down and get to that. And of course, the button on the top, same deal. So then this goes into the game grip. And you push down one side. I think I have it upside down. Push down the one side and push down the other and there it is on. So we'll slide to unlock. I don't have a lot of accelerometer games. I don't have a lot of games to begin with uh, but the one that I of course have uh, that a lot of people have is I had this game as a kid, the actual physical game uh, of the Wooden Labyrinth, the, the maze game. And of course this is a, an accelerometer based game that will I guess show off for all intents and purposes how the game grip works. And all it really does is it gives you an extended feel of your iPod Touch. I'm not saying, nah, see I can't do this through the camera. Anyway, you get the idea. I'll continue to try to do it. It gives you really an extended feel, a controller-like feel of the iPod Touch. Sometimes people have a little bit of trouble playing games on the iPod Touch because of the way it's shaped, it's slick, it's smooth, it's thin. But this really gives you the natural controller, man, gives you the natural controller feel that you're, that you're used to with, you know, Xbox 360, PlayStation 3 games where you have that controller in your hands. And this is, uh, really, it's just, there's really nothing to it. It just turns your iPod Touch into a bigger, bulkier setup so you can play uh, games on it. I don't have any racing games or any of the flying games that it advertises to be especially good for. Uh, so this is, in terms of this review, what I have for it. Uh, I, I think that this is not an everyday user thing. Uh, I think that if you're a true, a big gamer and you've shelled out the, the five to ten bucks for a good racing game or a good flying game, this may be for you. But the problem is I'm just not a big fan of how, ex how I guess, transportable it is. It is big and it knows that it's big and I don't think it's a shame that it is big. But there's some cool things that you can do along with this. You can charge uh, you can get to the charging port by taking off one of these silicone shoulders. Uh, you have the ability to wrap up headphones back here and manage cords. But of course it only really works with earbuds. It doesn't work with your big headphones. I just think that this isn't really an everyman product. This is something that, uh, unlike a case, which is something that you inherently want to do is you want to protect your iPod uh, or your iPhone. This is something that kind of is only for gaming. And I, and I know that they know that. Uh, but this really isn't something that everybody's gonna wanna, going to want. But in terms of the people that are going to want this, I think this is one of the best uh, kind of game controllers for your iPod. Just the way it's, it's weighted. These silicone grips, these are nice. And these, are, these are grippy. Uh, and these will definitely do the trick. The fact that you can still uh, leave it in here and charge it or sync it is another nice added bonus. Not a huge deal, but it's nice. The fact you can, you can do some cord management back here and get the uh, earbuds connected and do some headphone, I guess, so you can travel with it a little bit easier. That's also a nice feature. I just think this is a little on the pricey side. This is upwards almost towards 40 bucks. And I think for what it is, it could be, it's a little pricey for some people that maybe don't game a lot on the iPod Touch. Now, granted, of course, on the Game Grader, we've come to terms and we're starting to uh, really dive into the game and iPod Touch uh, accessory market, and that's why I have this, and big thank you to Marware for it. Uh, but I think that this is really something for a true gamer, and, and in terms of being a controller, it's a very, very good one. Obviously, uh, I don't game a lot on the iPod Touch, and this is, this is for music and movies, really. Um, 
so I don't really see a need for myself to have it, but if you have one of the flying and racing games and you need better control of your iPod Touch, I think this is a really, really good option for you, uh, is to have this nice little controller, which comes with, in and of itself, these really nice skins, which could easily go for 20 bucks themselves. You get one for your iPod, one for your iPhone. These are nice skins that can go, you know, maybe 20, 25 bucks on themselves. So uh, the controller uh, on its own, I guess you could say is almost 20 bucks. So it's a pretty good deal. You'll find this on Marware's website. It's about 20, or excuse me, about 40 bucks. Uh, but uh, your iPod goes in there, just gives you kind of an extra wide grip, a little more control, more of a true steering wheel feel. And this will be good for the true gamer. I don't like how big it is. I really wish that this part, these shoulders would have slimmed down a little bit, maybe get a little bit closer. I like the silicone grip and the extended handle. Notice it's a lot longer than your traditional iPod. It's longer, so it can give you a little more of a gaming feel. Good for the touch screening, of course, since your thumbs have good access to the controller. Uh, but I think this could be a little pricey for some people that don't like the gaming. But I think for people that love gaming on their iPod Touches and their iPhones, this is a welcome addition to their repertoire of iPod and iPhone accessories. That's going to do it. It's the Marware Game Grip. Big thank you to them for sending it our way. That's going to do it. Jimmy Smith for the Game Grader.